How we doing guys? Welcome, it's Kraken here, back with another tutorial video for you guys. This time we're going to look at the fastest and quickest way of getting yourself some transportation in 7 Days to Die Alpha 18. So we're going to be looking at making the bicycle the fastest and easiest ways of doing this. I've just gone through the beginning quests, nice and simple, which we all know how to do. If you need to know a bit more about how to play this game, up in the top right hand corner right now there's going to be a link to my dummies guide how to play but we're going to go first off to the trader so here we are guys we're at the traders so once you've gone through your first beginning quest you will show you the location to your nearest trader to build a bicycle we need a workbench now this workbench is destroyed so i'm going to go through shortly and show you where you can find another workbench in the apocalypse. I'll show you all the buildings. Now, this is what you need to craft your bicycle. You're going to need two wheels, your chassis, your handlebars, and a mechanical part. So, first things first, to build these things, we're going to need other items as well. So, if we just have a quick look to build the chassis, we need forged iron, mechanical parts, duct tape, leather, and some springs. The handlebars are going to take duct tape, leather, another mechanical part, nine short iron pipes and three springs. And to make the wheels, you're going to need some more forged iron, some scrap polymers, oil, coal and some acid. So first things first, we're going to need to find the best way of finding the acid, which is a hard thing to get. And also how to find yourself a wrench, because without a wrench, we're going to struggle to get a lot of these other parts. At the beginning of the game, you're going to be wanting to go into smaller POIs like this that only have a couple of zombies in. Now, wrenches and acid are normally found pretty much in the same place. And most of the time, that is going to be underneath the sink here. So you want to be searching. Straight away, we found ourselves a cooking pot and one acid like that. So you want to be checking out all the toilets and all of the kitchens and checking underneath the sinks to find yourself a wrench and some acid. There are bigger apartment blocks just like this one which have plenty of sinks in to go and find your acid and your wrenches. But be careful, there's going to be a lot more zombies in there. Now there's a good argument at the beginning of the game there might be worth going to somewhere like this. Motel number 8 or one of the apartment blocks because in each one of these you're going to be able to knock your way into into the building nice and easy there's only one or two zombies in your way and you are going to find yourself plenty of bathrooms that are going to have sinks now we need the short iron pipes anyway these blinds on the wall also one of the easiest ways to find your scrap polymers and we need 24 of those for each wheel and there we go going halfway through hotel number eight we have found ourselves a wrench so we'll just grab these scrap polymers and we've got ourselves a wrench now the wrench we're gonna need to get all of the other parts oil can be found by searching a car and we now have a nice fire axe and then with your wrench you can take apart cars which will get you your leather your scrap polymers and the springs that you're going to need to build your bicycle So as you can see from the bottom right hand side, taking your car apart is going to get you a lot of the things that you need to build your bicycle, like the leather, short iron pipes, the oil, springs and the mechanical parts. And we got the scrap polymers as well. So we need all of these things to build ourselves our first bit of transportation. The acid we got from the sinks, we got one of those so far, we only need to find one more of those. Now the other major thing that we need to find is forged iron and there's a few ways that we can do that. There are two types of vending machines in the game. 
ones like this that actually work which you can purchase things from these you cannot wrench apart unless you want to get yourself an electrical shock the other type of vending machines are like this they look exactly the same but you cannot press e and buy anything from them these we can wrench apart with the wrencher we found and this will give us forged iron which is the other major thing that we need there we go we've got forged iron and forged steel is the other main ingredient we need for building our bicycle so that gave us three forged iron from wrenching up that vending machine we need 13 in total to build ourselves the wheels and to build ourselves the chassis so we've nearly got there now checking out various POIs you'll find a range of different crafting stations in them so in this one here Aldo's POI in the garage we have actually got a workbench and we're going to need to find ourselves a working workbench this one is destroyed every time you find a destroyed workbench or any crafting station you have a 25% chance of getting the schematic to build it now that one hasn't but we can now actually wrench this apart to get ourselves more of those mechanical parts we need and the forged iron that we need to build our bicycle so taking one workbench apart and taking apart that one vending machine we actually have all the forged iron we need table saws like this will also give you forged iron springs and mechanical parts which we need for our bicycle and we've also got cement mixers ten forged iron from a cement mixer these weird looking things here on the floor also give you forged iron and forged steel so keep an eye out for these when you're in junkyards and passing gases as well construction sites like this is also a no very good way of finding yourself a workbench we have another workbench there but we could have got our forged iron from it so even the journey's end poi has a nice little garage type barn on the outside which you can get to their workbench really easily so here we have another house which has a workbench and all the final loot inside the garage just here but the sneaky fun pimps have made this 10,000 hit points to get through. Going through the house might be the better way, but there is a workbench in there. Construction houses like these, very easy to get yourself a cement mixer to wrench apart to get your forged iron. A house like this, if you go into the garage, you'll find yourself a weightlifting bench. These also give you forged iron if you wrench these up if you find yourself a barn like this these also have workbenches in them if they're destroyed you can wrench them up for the forged iron if not you might actually be able to use it to build your bike and there we go so we can actually build our own workbench now so we can take that read that like i say there's a 25 percent chance there's a good chance be able to build your own workbench you find yourself a junkyard just like this these also have a workbench in and there we go found ourselves a working workbench now we have our workbench we can actually start putting together all of the things that we need but we will need to put a point into the perk tree which we still have our four points from completing our original quest we need to put a point into grease monkey which is intellect level two so we need to go to intellect put one point into there and one point into there now when we go into our workbench we can actually start crafting our chassis and our handlebars but we're still missing a few things so we need to get ourselves some duct tape and some more short iron pipes now duct tape you can find out in the random world you need to be searching though a lot of the trash that you find on the floor 
but you can also make duct tape and with that you go to your campfire which you can make just with a few simple stones you need your cooking pot which can be made in the forge and from here you just can cook up your own glue and to make the glue you need bottled water which you'll get from a lot of the toilets or you can go and use your empty jars and go to any water source and that will come up as murky water and you need bones so any animals that you kill you can harvest up their bodies and get bones you can also get all the bones you need from these gore blocks that just spawn straight away out there so we got ourselves three bones straight away there once you've got yourself the glue you can make your own duct tape by simply putting one piece of glue to five bits of cloth fragments and cloth you can get from the cars that you've been wrenching from settees even from hitting these cotton plants so you can knock yourself up a load of these cotton plants and from there you can make yourself cloth fragments which is a one-to-one -one ratio so it's very easy to make yourself the duct tape and it's always worth making plenty of duct tape because nearly everything in the game is put together with duct tape so we've got ourselves some cloth there straight away so when you're out looting in the first couple of days to get all your stuff for your bicycles just keep an eye out for all these kind of construction sites here because a lot of the workbenches and a lot of the different things will be destroyed and normally they've always got something that's worth having so you're going to need your cloth to make your duct tape you can wrench all these apart and that will give you all your forged iron there we go we've just managed to get ourselves another schematic for a cement mixer which means we don't need to spend the skill points to get those in also any passing gas shops because a lot of the time the passing gas crates will have parts for the bicycle in so you might find yourself a chassis a handlebar which means you haven't even got to make them so if you are lucky enough to find any of these parts in passing gas boxes or buying from the trader all the parts to your bicycle you can actually craft this without specking into it so we haven't put any points into intellect as of yet and no points into grease monkey and that goes for any of the vehicles here so if you find any of the parts to build all of the mini bike the motorcycle the 4x4 or the gyrocopter you can actually craft that without having to spec any points into it whatsoever so here we have another trader now obviously the easiest way to make your forged iron and make your bicycle is if your forge actually works because then you can just put some scrap iron in here put a bit of clay soil in here and you can actually make forged iron here it takes for each piece of forged iron it takes 12 bits to be um, smelted in so you just put this in here take 12 bits of iron to be smelted into your forge and six bits of clay to be smelted in which you can dig up clay anywhere out there in the world so you can see how fast this goes up and this is with no added extra tools you could make forged iron very quickly this way and you'd get your forged iron for your bike in no time at all so the last part you need to actually craft your wheels is you need 15 coal now this is really easy especially if you if you find yourself any of these nodes any of these dark looking nodes here nearly every hit there you go is going to be giving you coal so to get 30 coal for 15 for each wheel should take you no time at all if you can't find one of these but you are near a burnt biome like this even chopping down a tree a burnt out tree like this will give you coal as well fireplaces like these are another way of getting coal so once you've crafted your bicycle and you have it in your inventory you can bring this down onto your tool belt and then all you need to do is simply right click when it is green now if you have used a workbench in a trader just note that this protected area around a trader you cannot place your bike down so just be a little bit careful when you come out of the trader to do this so guys i hope this helps you out just a few tips and tricks of how you can get yourself some transport in the early game because running around is not a nice thing to do and one of the best things about the bicycle is that you get yourself extra inventory space that you can put bits into so there you go just a few things to help you out get a vehicle 
in the very early stages of the game. I usually tend to have a bicycle usually by day two, sometimes by day three, depending on how lucky I am with the trader or how lucky I am with looking for that uh, workbench and the acid. But if you really want to look for it and really want to spend your time looting for that stuff, it shouldn't be too difficult for you to do. There you go. So that's all from me, guys. Please hit that like button if this has helped you at all. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I'll catch up with you guys in the next episode. Take it easy.